Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. In this video session, we will observe what is shell, shell programming, difference between scripting and programming languages, types of shells, features of shells, different flowers also we will observe. Shell, collection of Unix commands is called shell script. Generally in every operating system, shell script is a common word. Script is nothing but weakly or loosely typed programming. What are the characteristics of shell programming or shell scripting? Actually, shell means there are the lump sum Unix commands. At a time, we can able to execute a single Unix command or two commands or three. Sometimes client requirement one command unable to satisfy or two commands unable to satisfy or three commands unable to satisfy. That times we are going to add all these commands into one file. That file we are executing. The file is called shell because every shell script ends with dot sh h. Standard shell is nothing but sh h. This is popularly known as bone shell or bash shell. The shell scripting in 1970s implemented by Steven Bone with the help of C syntaxes. So, basically bash shell is the default shell. You want to know what shell in your system available, just go to command prompt, echo and enter whatever the shell you require. For example, echo dollar zero. Whenever you are entering echo dollar zero, the related shell prompt will be displayed. Even you can change from one shell to another shell. So, once bash displayed, you want to convert into KSH means con shell. Just the shell name you can type, hit the return key. It is converting into con KSH. Now, you want to see converted or not, echo dollar zero, again it displays con shell. You want to exit from one shell to another shell and exit. Exit is the command to exit from current shell to new shell. So, these are the commands to know about what shell currently running. There are the several shells as I said and commonly we are using bash. What is a bash prompt? bash prompt is a dollar and bash prompt syntax is sh standard shell and the shell how you are displaying already said echo now practically this shell related operations will observe before observing what are the features of shell scripting there are the several features available feature number one execute lump sum commands at a time. Second feature, whatever the duty we need to perform every day, one shutdown, one log off, one restart, one creation, one deletion, we can do automate with the help of programming means scripting. And third one, shell is performing a duty n number of times means repeatedly no need to write commands. And these shells having some characteristics. These characteristics one by one practically we can see on the system, but just I provided here only what is the shell and how the shell is going to be displaced that prompt, the related prompt or prompt we can say. Yeah guys, practically we can see shell programming already shell definition I implemented here collection of Unix commands is called Unix shell. In every operating system as I said shell available collection of DAS commands, DAS shell, collection of Windows commands, Windows shell, collection of Linux commands, Linux shell, collection of Unix commands, Unix shell. Again in Unix operating system, shell means different different features available. Customizing work environments, already I made this point, automating your daily tasks, 
automating repetitive tasks like this several features available main usage of shell script is when a single unix command unable to satisfy client requirement will make together some unix commands will run at a time that is a real shell usage there are the different types of shells available these three shells commonly we are using bone shell default c shell con shell so bone shell only we are calling as a standard shell i made definition very clear here standard shell available and bone shell developed by steven bone that is the reason we are calling bone shell this one and prompt dollar and execution command is sh same c shell is bill joy developed on c syntax that is the reason we are calling c shell c shell prompt is this one execution ch con shell david con implemented the prompt is dollar in atnt bell laboratories and prompt is dollar ksh is the prompt of the shell and now responsibilities means what shall exactly performing there are the different things performing program execution variables io redirection pipelines filters environment control as well as interpreted programming language these are the responsibilities characteristics of your shell programming shell scripting commonly shell variables means what generally variable is nothing but the data name and it is used to save some kind of or to store, store some kind of values available two types system defined variables user defined variables so i'll show you how to define that and what is the main difference between scripting and other programming languages script means weakly or loosely typed programming and programming languages are strictly typed syntax based completely and when you are coming to scripting maximum interpreter based when you are coming to programming languages compiler based and when you are coming to scripting mainly any kind of script you can take java script live script vb script shell script perl script all these are installation whenever we are performing less libraries available no header files required when you are coming to programming languages more libraries available and header files compulsory and special environment not required for the scripting but every programming language required specially environment and setup is required and if you are coming to unix operating system even perl also no need to install here so what is the meaning of perl practically extraction report language about that i'll discuss and these are the main differences between scripting and programming languages and when you are coming to system defined variables or user defined variables we'll observe how we are going to define the variables and before i'm showing practically that there are the several environment variables available how to display these environment variables also i'll show you one by one and clear it for example i am declaring x is equal to 33 as said echo dollar x so it is representing address dollar ampers on type and echo for example you said dollar y why i didn't declare here so it is not giving you an zero also but for example i said y is equal to zero if i say that and echo and i said y so it is a zero so like this information related to variables and echo command already in my previous session completed just you can try to view they are clearly available about the echo now these variables declaration x is a user defined here i declared where i declared echo dollar zero where i declared bash shell programming so now i am converting into con shell now there is a prompt is con shell echo dollar zero you can say echo dollar zero and con shell now here that value i want to display echo dollar x value is not there so means where you declare the variable there only it is possible to view or there only is possible to use and if you want to make the variable as a global scope that time you need to use there is a keyword available export x so when you are saying export x the x variable is available to all shells just hit the return key and say here echo dollar x yes what is the shell here available dollar 0 bash shell convert into con shell again echo dollar and x you can say yes perfectly so export is the keyword to make global scope means it is exporting to all available shells again exit from there it is exit is a command to exit from one shell to another shell like this we can change shell prompts also 
Now I am coming to environment variables. Generally, Unix is case sensitive operating system. Echo, for example, dollar, I said home. And echo, and I said dollar log name. Log name. And echo dollar user capital letters only environment variables like this echo primary prompt i want to see dollar ps1 i want to see secondary prompt echo dollar ps2 secondary like this different prompts also available here so this is what exactly the meaning of environment variables will view how many number of available a big list available a few i am showing to you here display editor group display you want to display echo dollar display capital letters must be echo dollar editor echo dollar group echo dollar home echo dollar host like that remaining environment variables also we can able to display and user defined variables just now I shown to you how to define these are the shell keywords or reserved words there are the many reserved words available these are the few reserved words which we are using frequently in the shell programming area and finally shell script is classified into two types interactive non interactive what is non interactive what is interactive shell script non interactive shell script means while script is running the input does not required from the user or from the keyboard that is a non interactive shell scripts. What is an interactive shell script? While script is running or execution time, it is asking the required input from the user or from the keyboard it is called interactive shell scripts and one example we can try to. Now, in this in this path I am here available pwd right now in my name path available ls cd shell already clearly shell programming implementation available there are the different different shells available exe i said already shell uh, unix operating system level files colors symbols and different kind of notations i implemented in the video session 2 please refer for more colors and rotations refer video number 2 now these are the exe files color is green symbol is asterisk now i want to write here a file so, vi is the editor, my script is the file name, dot sh is the extension. I am writing one sample program, how to write and how to execute, I will show you directly a sample shell programming. Hit the return key and already program previously available, it is a disturbed, it is showing recovery, do you want to recover it, it is asking. So, that I do not want, I do not want means q and quit. So, I am writing a new one. So, vi my script 1.sh, there is a new script I am writing. Yes, if file available, it will open. If file not available, it creates and bottom of the screen you can observe, vi is the editor, my script 1 is the file name, sh is the extension and dot here we are calling as a period press enter or return key and it is giving it is a new file and available in command mode already explained about vi modes three modes available command mode insert mode ex command mode it is in command mode if i am pressing i observe here converting into insert mode and you can enter and hash hash is nothing but comment in shell scripting it is my first script now i am writing simply non interactive programming i am showing echo welcome to welcome to the world of welcome to the world of shell scripting double quotation so welcome to the world of shell scripting and echo i am writing single quotation default default script is default script is bash single quotation no quotation also we can write thank you and i said simply and i am going to close means echo does not require compulsory single or double quotes or nothing so that i already explained to you because shell is the loosely typed programming weakly typed scripting so rules may not be maintained not compulsory but sometimes always maintain double quotation is the best programming always now i am coming insert mode press escape 
converted into command mode nothing available shift colon wq save and exit yes now i want to run that s s h s h file name dot sh press enter or return key it is giving perfect answer so this is the way we are implementing shell programming shell scripting for example in my program there is a mistake available definitely and i did a mistake here and how this mistake is going to be view perfectly it is going to display and now i am executing giving very clearly line 3 echo command not found next because it is interpretation wherever perfect that is getting executed now i am going to modification vi insert mode and i am giving whatever required escape shift colon wq now execute the script perfectly and executed so this is the way we can able to implement shell programming thank you for watching my videos for more videos log in into youtube.com slash community some more some more videos i'll try to upload on shell programming mainly bash shell programming